Tina Koto Katoa. No mai hare mai to this session about CPA Australia. Uh, ko tēnei taku mihi ki nga mana whenua o te rohi nei, ko um, ka mihi hoki au ki nga tohu o te rohi nei. Bului nāka, tolo whalawa, mālo alele, and warm Pacific greetings. My name's Nell, uh, my pronouns are she and her, and I'm a career consultant at UC Careers, where you can get help with all things career related from um, potentially finding out what your dream job might be um, and helping you succeed in securing employment um, both while you're still studying and when you've finished your degree. So today we've got um, 40 minutes for a presentation from CTA Australia and then we'll have 10 minutes for questions at the end of that. But please feel free to pop any questions in the chat as we go, and we'll look to answer those um, in that 10 minutes after the presentation. So I'm looking forward to hearing all about CPA Australia. Um, so welcome Cheryl, and thanks for being here today. Thank you, Nell, and then thank you to Saxon, Han and Thomas, and hopefully we get more coming in what I'll do is just to kickstart everything, Jill, what I'll do is I'll share this and hopefully you'd be able to appreciate who we are. So let me just do that now. Hopefully you can see and hear this. Right, so I'm Cheryl Calling, and hopefully you appreciate that in a nutshell presentation of who we are and what we do on campus. So I look after our relationship with um, the tertiary sector. And here at the UC, I look after you guys in terms of our relationship with, with you and the academes. And today obviously with a career so that you are well prepared and um, have the information at hand as you go along with your careers and hopefully looking forward to becoming a CPA. So what I've developed, what I've got here is a presentation which I'm more than happy to present now. If you give me a sec, I'll just stop my video because I think more than anything, this presentation is useful for everybody. Right, so it is important for you to be able to understand why CPA is here, but 
joining the student network with CPA Australia would obviously be able to give you some, some tips and tricks and knowing more about what's out there. So having that information at hand is key. So why study or why join the student network? Again, three key areas. We will give you so much notifications about what's out there. And obviously there are so many free courses that we uh, provide to, to students and the like. So it is actually good for you as well as you move forward with your studies and hopefully looking at tips and tricks while you're at university moving forward. So who and what is CPA Australia? Well, CPA Australia is one of the largest, um, world's largest and longest established professional accounting, finance, and business bodies. And with more than 168,000 members in over 100 countries and regions around the world, including Oceania, Asia, and Europe. Well, now I know you're all good in numbers, all right? So I think you'll agree that those are some good ones, but it doesn't answer why you yourself should join a professional body like CPA Australia. Well, the fact is, most people in the world of accounting, finance, and business will at some point in their career join one. And that's because professional accounting bodies or professional bodies provide you with ongoing education, which will help you continuously upskill throughout your career. Sorry, Cheryl. Um, yes. The PowerPoint's not showing. Can everybody else see the PowerPoint? Can you just give us a wee yes in the chat if you can see it? Oh, no. Um, hmm, that's it crazy. It could be just me. It could be just you, but can oh, no, you see it? It's just, it's just popped now. up now, Cheryl. Oh, thank you for that. That no is useful. Sorry to interrupt. Hey. No, no, that's good. That's good because this is what I'm going to show you is join the network is more important. Um, after that video, hopefully you'd be able to see as to what benefits you can get out of CP Australia and why we were doing this. Um, again, joining the CPA and that's a QR code would give you so much notifications as to, you know, what events do we have that are available for you, the free courses that we have as well, and those tips and tricks. Uh, you know, university year is key. And, you know, this is the fun part of it is you will have that that um, industry connections as you go along. So it's important to, you know, join us, I guess. And I said earlier, who are we? Who is CPA? So what is CPA Australia? As I said, CPA Australia is one of the world's largest and longest established professional accounting, um, finance and business uh, bodies. And we've got more than 168,000 members in 100 countries and regions around the world, including Oceania, Asia, and Europe. And why join the professional body? I know that you're all good in numbers, as I said earlier, but you'll agree that some of the good ones, but it doesn't answer why you yourself should join a professional body like CP Australia. So it's good that you, you are listening to this presentation because I think it's important to you to understand why we exist. Well, the thing is, most people in the world of accounting, finance, and business will at some point join um, a professional body uh, at one point in their career. And obviously, the reason for that is because professional bodies provide you with ongoing education, which is continuously upscaling throughout your career. And most importantly, it proves you that having a qualification are highly skilled or sought after with your high, highly qualified um, designation. So why should you choose CP Australia? Well, for a start, all CP Australia members have access to the worldwide network that I mentioned earlier. And obviously we will help you future-proof your career with continuous professional development and give you support and guidance from the beginning of your career to the day you retire. And honestly, who wouldn't want that, right? And we will obviously provide you with more than just the latest technical and academic learnings. 
and CP Australia will also equip you with the skills and tools to help you with problem solving, planning, and leadership. Very important. And also prepare you for the dynamic issues that organizations face, such as, as you may know, the evolving digital landscape, like what we're doing right now. Now, here's the bit, the best bit for you is completing the CPA program makes you a certified practicing accountant, that's CPA. And we've been in existence for 135 years. So internationally recognized designation that employers and clients are always looking for, but I know what you're thinking, right? Why are you telling me this now? Surely CP Australia is for the future you. Absolutely. Well, yes, it is most definitely is, but it's also invaluable for you now as well. Why? For instance, CP Australia can help you find a career path that'll suit your best. The choices seem endless, but we can help you guide the right, right direction for you. We'll show you how you can apply the, the knowledge and theory you've gained at university to real world practical situations. And we'll help you explain the difference between the various professional bodies out there so you can make an informed choice when you start your career. And as uh, you know, I showed you in the video, we can help you become the standout candidate and we'll do this by making sure you're ready for the job market. Yeah, you understand the technology you'll need and you're prepared for interviews. Now, every one of you in this room has the potential to emerge as an industry leader and to make a real impact in the world of accounting, finance and business. Now, with a little help from CP Australia, we can also become a standout candidate anywhere in the world. Now, I want you in the chat, in the chat box, Share with us or share with everybody, how do you think you can stand out, right? And we will, you know, um, chat about that in a while, but would be good to share, you know, how, how do you think you can stand out? Yeah, that's a, that's a question for you guys to, to answer. And, and maybe we can discuss that a, a, a wee bit more later on. But why CP Australia program? Why should you choose the CPA program, right? This is an interesting bit. I think it is important that we provide you with a summary of what is CPA program in a nutshell. Look, as I said earlier, the, the world is changing and more and more um, accounting and finance professionals are looking at why do I need to do a professional body or why do I need to have a designation in what makes CPA the, the designation of choice? four or five key areas to, to think about why CPA, because we teach you about commercial awareness, commercial acumen, the creative thinking. Not only that, we're also looking at emotional intelligence into the program. You're not just looking at the technical skill, which is obviously very a uh, part of the program, but we want you to become solution driven. And not just looking at solutions that become problem solvers, you want you to communicate that. And this is one of the key areas where a lot of CFOs that I'm talking to in the last three weeks is that their main problem right now with their accounting and finance um, team, team um, staff is communicating the data. And that is very important these days. Information is key, data is important, but how do you communicate that with clients or colleagues or non-accountants or finance professionals? Important to understand. Awareness of social impacts of accounting is key. And this is part of what we do in the CPA program. You know already we are trying to drive into that zero net to zero um, impact. Planet needs a lot of accountants to understand that every information that they disseminate is key to the world, to the planet, and therefore social impact is key in the program that we provide you. This is the future of, of accountants and professionals, uh, professional accountants and finance professionals. There is that combination of suits and genes. 
which all of you would probably really like, you know, going to a business meeting, wearing a suit and a shirt inside is actually so cool right now. And understanding that there are so many regular, regu regulatory um, uh, compliance that you need to understand, but putting the digital uh, lens into it is also key. So understanding both is, is important for you as you move forward into your career. So this is where the future holds for you. This is the trend of finance and accountants. And how do you make sure that you are on the right path? Again, you are doing your course now at UC and you know that you, you're, if you are finishing your BCom or if you're doing your MPA, you are going towards that accredited program of CP Australia. And this is where very important for you to understand that once you finish your qualification at UC, you know that you are eligible to do the CPA program, you're exempted uh, for, from uh, foundations. You only have to do six subjects under the CPA program and you have what we call um, electives. If you're going to do taxation and auditing under your qualification or under your degree, then you know that you don't need to do those anymore under the CPA program because these are not prerequisites, but instead these are exit um, subjects. That means you can't look at other subjects available to you under the elective side on the left side of the screen. Digital finance is an important um, uh, uh, course, if not subject, under the CPA program because this is where you guys are heading. Remember, I showed you the suite and genes, the, the human intelligence part of it that is will be taught under the CPA program. And again, four, four courses are what we call core subjects, and you'll be um, learning that under the CPA program. Practical experience, you can go anywhere in the world and get your practical experience. You just demonstrate to us how will you attain all those skills that we require. So we don't want you to be working for a specific um, industry or, or, or employer. You can go anywhere in the world and you can even work for a not-for-profit or do a volunteer job right now because we would, um, and that's a key highlight of the practice experience of CPA is that we would recognize that as well. So if you are already looking at, yep, Cheryl, I'm doing some volunteering work at uni right now that is um, applicable to your experience, we would recognize those. All right. And this is where, just to, in a nutshell again, as to where you can take your, your, your accounting profession. Again, CPAs are all in different industries from the public practice, the big four media, to small firms, to industries and commercial from ICT to agribusiness to FMCJ. All of these have um, professional accountants as, such as CPA and obviously the public sector as well. So these are just some of your, probably you, you know all of these brands, you know all of them. So they are out there and CPAs are obviously working for, for some of these, if not all of these organizations, and there would be more of them as well. Again, as I said, all of us or you guys in the room have the potential to emerge as industry leaders. So make sure that you are impacting that. And hopefully you are here to listen how you can stand out from the rest. And this is a good information uh, dissemination details of what I'm, I'm giving you now is good for you to understand because you still have time to really look and hone and, and stand out from the rest. Start that by joining us, how you can sh shape your future. Student Network is a go-to and we would love to hear from you as we go along. If you want to connect with me, obviously this is my, my information there. Again, I'm, uh, you can connect with me through LinkedIn, otherwise email me or contact me. And I'd be more than happy to, to share some insights with you. And i will be more than happy to, to share some insights now if you do have questions. And um, yeah, and we, we, can, we can open the, uh, the chat or we can you know, discuss whatever you've got in, in, in your minds at the moment. So yeah, off to you now now. Thanks for that, Cheryl. No problems. 
So um, has anyone got any questions for Cheryl? Make the most of the opportunity while we've got her. You can pop them in the chat. Um, let me change the setting here. Or you can feel free to unmute yourself and just ask through the Zoom. So we've got a great question come up here. Thank you, Saxon. How would you describe the working culture of the organization? Thanks for that, Saxon. Yes, it's a very good question, obviously. I can I can probably answer that from where I'm working from in, at the moment is, is with CP Australia. The culture right now, obviously, is really interesting in, in terms of what's happening around the world. The culture right now with CP Australia is very much collaborative. And that means, you know, again, we're embracing technology because we have no choice. We can't, uh, from a global uh, organization perspective, it is quite unique in a sense what we're experiencing now is that the collaboration is so real that we have more time to chat with different um, different uh, um, teams in different places. Like yesterday, I was obviously talking to somebody from from um, from Australia, but again in the afternoon, I was talking to somebody in Hong Kong. Right. The other week, I was talking to somebody in Micronesia. One of my members is actually talking to to me in Micronesia because of that hybrid, if not technology, um, has helping us to actually connect. Yes, the face to face is important, but the culture now is more of we are embracing um, what's out there, and and this is actually very important for you to understand. Adapting to change is key. And the culture now in, in workplaces is embracing what we have. The limitations of not seeing each other face to face do have ups and downs. Absolutely, I, I totally agree with that. But there are also so much, so much benefits to it. So it is collaborative. I guess that's my one word uh, that I can give you. And again, it's honing your skills. have what we call wellness friday so at work we make sure that we um you get together we try not to finish at five we try to finish at three actually saxon so that means we have enough time for ourselves and you know who knows um again we 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 we, we don't do an eight to five or eight thirty to five now we work when we see it's flexible for us so hope that that helps in that in that um, questioning. Thank you. It's great. Thanks, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. um, it's exciting, isn't it? That um, these these sort of challenging times also pose really interesting opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, totally, totally. And then it's 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 uh, you know talking to a lot of CFOs in the last um, three weeks, as I told you, is that so much of them are adapting to the change quite rapidly in, and, and they resonate with what I've just said about collaboration. Um, a lot of them were just looking at, you know, accountants or the finance team just looking at one area, let's say, for example, their area. But now it's changing massively because there is what we call um, business partnering, and that's what they're doing now. So. That collaboration within the business is important. So this is something that for you all to think about is that how do I make sure that, yes, I'm talking about numbers, and I said that earlier about narrative, you know, storytelling, you know, how do we make sure that I am um, getting that information across to the business? So communication is key. Volunteer. 
So, Shira, we just lost you a little bit there, um, but I, oh, I kind of I... picked up that you were saying again that, you know, communication is key. I wonder if you could talk about um, some of the other skills. Obviously, there's the technical um, sort of numbers side of it, but what other sort of transferable skills might be important? Yeah, yeah, the, the, there's so much in there uh, to look at, and this is something that you need to, to, to hone, right? So again, what are these ones? It could be aligning your, your skills about um, on, again, technical, I was just looking at the technical skills because agility is, is a very important at the moment, you know, being agile and, and being able to, to look at what, um, many functions in, in, in that problem solving type of, of skills that you can, you can, he, uh, you can, you can hone um, because problem solving is, is becoming more and more an evident uh, solution to a lot of our problems. It's at the moment, being able to think outside the box is, is important um, skill to, to hone as well. Again, these are uh, a lot of a lot of um, organizations are thinking of what can we make sure that, apart from communicating, what can we make sure that um, people are uh, now honing. Companies are now saying that resilience is becoming a, a valuable uh, part of what they do every day. And what does it look like? What is resilience for you? I'll put that in your context. There's so many deadlines, so many assessments to, to work on, right? This is the start of university life and you've got a lot of things to do. Time management is key. How do you make sure that resilience is, is, is work into that, into your favor, making sure that, you know, what is important and what is urgent, those kind of things are well set in your mind because important there is that you look after yourself you know, being resilient is that, oh, I can manage all of these things. Multitasking is perfect, but monotasking now becoming, becoming more and more uh, an important skill as well. So looking at prioritizing what is needed now, rather than what is, you know, I can do everything at the same time. This is not the way to go now, unfortunately. Excellent. Thanks, Cheryl. Have any of you, any of the rest of you got any more questions, you can feel free to um, unmute yourself and just ask the question or pop something in the chat. Oh, another one from Saxon. Thank you, Saxon. Um, what would a typical day be like in the organization? Mm, again, great question there. Um, a typical day in, again, using, using us uh, as a good example with CPA, a typical day day for us is is obviously looking what is as i said looking what is important uh what is what is urgent and what is needed to to go and get the um i guess the next project in what is a typical day for us on a meeting perspective right and and uh, it's it's so funny because aaron sent that information through that 11 minutes is the uh, sort of like the span you know to, you know our our capacity to understand everything and take on is very real um in in the in in the in the workplace and for us having meetings every day is absolutely important but we need to be very mindful that we if we can have that meeting in 30 minutes, if even less, let's say 20 minutes, is even better. Why is that? Because we are very conscious of the fact that we have the time span that we need to understand. We do have time to make sure that we are doing our best for a specific project or a specific task that we are um, assigned to. So it has to be deliberate. When we do our meeting if that makes sense so that's a typical day for us is making sure when i set a day um on my day to day is that i'm deliberate on what i need to to get out of and therefore i prioritize what is important 
what are my objectives are and that is across all of us you know what can we do now collaboratively or what can we do individually in time for us to get together in a specific date you know that that is one way and reaching out to everybody and this is a good thing we do use microsoft teams and with teams obviously it's a collaborative um tool for us to make sure that if we don't talk to each other at the moment because we do have so many competing priorities we do have um uh, sort of like a document or a site where we can put everything there and we can even work there um collaboratively um online um you know which is which is again a very good way for us as i said earlier Friday is a big day for us not to finish at five, but we finish at three. But that doesn't mean that we have to start at, at two, right? If you feel like, you know, I feel like I'm starting at 9 a.m. today, I finish at four, um, 3 p.m., absolutely fine. Because flexibility is, is what we really nurture in the organization at the moment. Great, thanks, Cheryl. Um, yeah, I certainly think um, it's one of the bonuses of uh, sort of not, well, I don't know if it's a bonus or a, um, a silver lining um, of COVID that we are getting better at using online spaces um, in, a, in a more effective and efficient way. Yeah, and yeah, totally. Time better. Mm, mm. And, and teamwork, you know, everything, everything that we do lies on, um, and the good thing there is, is that we make sure that we have, um, oh, Oh, did I lose you guys? No, I did not. No, um, yeah, yeah. Leadership is, is, is another thing, I guess, that, that that's uh, who we're trying. And, and leadership is not just, you know, senior leaders. Leadership is actually in us, all of us, you know, in, in each yeah. and one of us. It's how you take the leadership um, uh, to that next level. Again, volunteering is important. Um, I, I cannot emphasize enough why volunteering is, is key because even within the organization, and I could see Nell has her beautiful lanyard um, because I volunteer myself um, apart from my, my day job, I, I, I'm volunteering myself in, in a couple of working groups. So, so I'm part of, um, of our LGBTQ uh, uh, working group as, as part of the organization wide. You know, um, DNI is is key for us, so that's that's an important part. So, yeah, do that and show your leadership in that aspect. Great. So, um, we've got another great question in the chat from um, Bowen. I hope I've said your name correctly. Um, how do you enhance the leadership skills other than just within school activity? Oh, thanks for that, Bohan. Yep, leading up to to the, well, actually, as I said, volunteer 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 if there are volunteer opportunities but then within um you see fantastic um i with cp australia we do have this partnership with one of your student associations called um accounting society i'd love for you guys to be part of that and be a member of that um because that i think is crucial for you in terms of looking at activities to show your leadership there. Um, this year, we've already nailed some of our activities with them. Again, that's where you can say, hey, I wanna, I wanna volunteer how I can add value to, to what you guys are doing. So those words, value and contribution, if you can write that down, those are keywords for you to, to think about this year. Where can I add value? How can I contribute further? You know, these are simple questions within 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 um within your uni life but outside more importantly so look at those volunteer value contribution key yeah, things nice yeah i like it it's cool cheryl um I, I would add too from a from a careers perspective thinking about leadership as a skill and as a role so you might be in a role that doesn't require you to sort of officially have any form of leadership or, or further authority or responsibility, but that doesn't mean that you can't show leadership skills because you can lead from the front or you can lead from the back. So it doesn't matter how senior you are in, a, in an organization, you can still show your leadership skills. 
Yeah, no, totally. I absolutely agree because leadership, as you said, um, no, it, it's it's within us. You know, all yeah. of us has it. We just have to find it and hone it. Great. So how do you get on? Um, you guys, I, might, I imagine, are pretty savvy at CPA Australia being sort of um, quite global, pretty savvy at working in the online space and working with different time zones and things. Mm, totally. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I guess that's, that's, uh, that's a difference, isn't it? Uh, you know, the CPA uh, family or the CPA program is a good example of that, that one. And now it's, it's distance learning. So even before COVID hits and before, you know, everybody's into online now, we've been doing that for years. You know, we've been doing the, the program and collaboration in doing the, 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 the CPA program to become professionally qualified online. And it worked for us. It worked for our favor, um, to our favor, because mm -hmm. We are obviously, um, I guess we are, what do you call this, um, natives in this in this area. And we, what we love is that we are getting our, we keep on challenging ourselves because as we know, as a professional body, we need to make sure that we are, we're looking at the, at the future for, for our, our members. And that's important. That's a key focus of the organization. As a global organization, we know that each, um, each and one of us would have different um, uh, needs and all that. So we, we make sure that we are aligning to the global perspective. But one thing is for sure, and we say it to our members and now to all the students that we encounter is that we're not going back pre-COVID, definitely not. We're gonna move uh, forward. Innovation is key. These are the words, innovation, digital and advanced analytics. You've heard about fintech. You've heard about blockchain, agile innovation, cloud. These are your words that you're familiar with. It's taking that to that next level. So if you have that competency in those areas, you don't have the competency just yet, use your time at uni to hone those because as I said, we're not going to go back to pre-COVID, but we're gonna move forward up and up and above as we expected. And this is where we are gonna come in very nicely to help you. Yeah, that's great advice, Cheryl. Um, has anyone else got any questions? I guess for me, as a, as a, a big, you know, that's a network, um, in that, in that. Uh, you know, in, 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 in the last couple of years, but now we revived that because we want to make sure the, uh, you know, have access to information and have access to what industries are doing. And by Oh dear, so it looks like we might have lost Cheryl. Um, but look, if any of the rest of I'm you- I'm back have... now. Oh, you're back now. Thanks, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I, gosh, my my internet is, is really playing up at the moment. So sorry about that. But yes, as you said, if you do have any questions, So you've just cut out again, Cheryl. Um, 
if we've got any questions, could you possibly pop something in the chat for how students might be able to contact you or, or contact us to ask any more questions? What would be the best thing for you? Yeah, so I'm just um, putting my email address in there. And this is actually the best way for you to contact me. For students here, actually start building your LinkedIn now. Yes, good idea. I don't know if you, did you see that um, in there, um, Neil? Um, yes, I can see your email address in the chat. So, um, highly recommend you all grab that. And if you think of any other questions you've got for Cheryl, then um, you know, take the opportunity that Cheryl is offering for you to contact her directly. Yeah, and. I, and um... Yeah, that, that, again, I said, join the network. I've uh, showed that earlier. Um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's very good that we have revived that CPA network now. Uh, and, and obviously that is for all of you. And the reason why we do that is that we want you guys to have access to our free courses, you know, to you now and there are so many net now so if you are doing leverage that uh, by becoming a, a CPA um, network um, uh, or joining the network pretty much I don't know if I, yeah, I'm cutting a wee bit. yeah you are still cutting out a little bit Cheryl um, what we might do is, is um, just with that uh, sort of cutting in and cutting out, we might wrap it up there. But um, for, for you guys that, are, um, that have attended today, um, hopefully you've grabbed Cheryl's email address there from in the chat. Um, but I've also made a note of it as well. And um, I'm happy for you to contact me at UC Careers if you haven't been able to uh, get a copy of Cheryl's email address from the chat. And we can forward through any questions you might have directly to Cheryl. Um, so Sweet. does it does it'll just take a final minute? Does anyone have any final questions for Cheryl? Okay, so thanks everyone. Thanks for attending and coming along and listening to Cheryl today. And thank you very much, Cheryl, for making time to be here.